Buenas, señor. Soy Diego. Me mandaron a hablar con usted. Parker and the team must first visit the village elder, 72-year-old chief, Andres Maquemillo. Me recomendaron que venga a hablar con usted para ver si nos daba permiso de, de venir acá a la comunidad con ustedes, aprender un poco sobre ustedes y, y también ver posibilidades de ver un poco de oro. ¿Podemos pasar a hablar con nosotros? Sí, 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 sí. ¿Cuántos años ha vivido aquí? Yo soy nativo de acá. Yo soy de, de tiempo de la civilización. Acá, de Puerto Alegre, en embajado. Ahora, actualmente, de Puerto Alegre. They used to live upriver, but it was hard to get in contact with the white people. So when he was a kid, no, no white men. No, 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 había blancos. No. ¿Y qué familia está haciendo minería en eh, este acá, acá hay un cerca que conocen, este, que se llama eh, familia Cainieri. Cainieri. Muchas gracias. De ver manera, Diego. Diego. Andrés. Muchas gracias. Diego, ¿por qué? Oh, man. Just check something off my bucket list. I always wanted to meet somebody that grew up uncontacted by the outside world. Amazing. It's hard to do. Yeah. It's a place that's super untouched. Um, not a lot of outsiders get invited into the Americary. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. ¿Familia Cañeri? Sí, familia Cañeri. Ah. Yo soy Diego. ¿Cómo están? Diego, Diego. Fuimos Diego. a hablar con don Andrés. Eh, nos dijo que podíamos venir para acá a conversar con ustedes y porque nos ha dado permiso para quedarnos unos días aquí con ustedes. Bueno, este, bienvenido. De Gracias. verdad, me da muy, mucho gusto de verlos. Voy a hacer mostrar este, algunas cosas que nosotros este, siempre hacemos mostrar a los visitantes. Bueno, voy a traer un ratito. This is what they do whenever they have visitors. Gotcha. The Kainiri family, Father Luis and sons Omar and Bonaire, were taught to mine by their ancestors. Ustedes hacen minería. Y ahí lo, lo extraemos el oro en la playa, ensayando. They go to the river beach and they just start just moving the, the sand. They have like a movable wash plant. Gotcha. No? And that's how they recollect their, right. they get their, their gold. Where's the river? That's where we want to go. Okay. It's close to here. Oh. Entonces, vamos. Ya, pues, vamos. This is beautiful country. And I'm just trying to figure out a little bit more about the ground here. Finding a piece of ground in the middle of nowhere in the jungle, that's really good. And that would be more rewarding than just some investment in an existing mine site. Not fácil. Not fácil. It's not easy to find. No. That's pretty rich ground. Oh, yeah. Ah, see? That's incredible. That's just a shovel full off the beach. This beach must be rammed yeah. with the stuff. Bueno. Sí. Bueno. That's a really, really good start for us. This is obviously a very gold-rich area. This beach has gold in it. I mean, one shovel full, and then just panning it off in the river, and there it is. Perfect. Can you ask if that's normal, or is that a lot more than they usually find? Es lo, lo normal que, this is normal que siempre wow. hace, este, trabajamos eso. Pero allá, este, más arriba en las cabeceras, ahí esa. And if there's this much gold just on the beaches, you would think that there has to be some sort of, like, awfully good place that it's coming from. In theory, it should get, like, coarser and more gold going upstream. Can you ask him that? Más arriba, arriba, hay más oro y más grande? Sí. Más arriba, por las cabeceras. Do you think we could go check that out? Like, you and Tyler could stay here and Danny and I could go with Omar? ¿Crees que los puedes llevar a ellos dos? Yo me quedo con Tyler acá, usando con... Donde oh, allá la cabecera. Boner, sí. Are you okay with us leaving you with the shovel and the wheelbarrow? We're in the middle of the jungle, in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of difficult and a little dangerous to go there. Yeah, we'll be fine. We yeah, go now? Okay. Now. Do you trust your Spanish well enough to... Yeah, see. Sí. Me hablas poco español, sí. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get by. All right, let's do it. What's going on? Uh, Dan and I are going to go for an adventure with Omar, so you and Diego can stay here if that's all right. Like, the gold's so fine up here, that means that there's a ton somewhere upstream. I think Parker's feeling a lot of pressure to find the next big step, but it's at a point now that that might not be possible in the Yukon. So I think he's feeling all of that weight. Let's go. Let's do it, Dan. Bye, guys. There's actually a really good story about how they found the Yukon, and it was done by people jumping out of boats and 
panning rivers. And then suddenly, by one of the creeks, they found it, they followed it, and they found the mother load, you know. And it's kind of the only way that you can go about it. It all comes down to a man with a pan in a boat. While the mining is sustainable, the Canaries use mercury to catch the fine gold. Mercury is attracted to gold, and it'll take all those teeny little flakes of gold and turn that into one ball that's easily recoverable. That's extremely toxic. Yeah. The main risky way of intoxication with mercury is first is ingestion, second is in a, in a, inhalation, and third is skin contact. It all comes at a price. If you start diving down the chain of any industry, you'll find stuff like that. I went to med school, so I usually relate a lot of the stuff I'm seeing or learning with medical. So I know mercury intoxication is quite severe, and it's something I cannot take out of my mind. And we're going to burn it. They're going over there? <laughs> there you go. Cool. The gold is cleaned by burning away the mercury residue, but the fumes from the smoke carries huge health risks. This is my first time seeing this. Yeah. And it's trying to make the, the right questions to get the right answer, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it's, it's not easy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I like this scale. That's cool. Father Luis weighs up the gold from their four-yard test. Quanto? One gram. One gram. Very good. Whoa. That's impressive gold for digging off the riverbank. At 0 0.03 of an ounce, worth $51, the Kaineri family get almost as much gold per yard as Parker would in the Yukon, but using low-tech machinery with minimal running costs. Do you mind asking them if they um, think that the ground that we mined is quite rich or is it about normal or...? Eh, normal, normal. Yeah, that's average, yeah. Oh. It'd be interesting to spend some weeks here and dive into that further and push further into the jungle. But on these trips, we've seen all sorts of mining impacts. And I'm always a little hesitant in, like, properly untouched areas because, you know, it's untouched jungle. I never want to be labeled as like a jungle destroyer. And with what we've seen so far, it's not good enough to justify the amount of investment. You can't move the amount of yardage Parker's after without using huge machinery. The Canary family don't like to do mining that impacts the environment in big ways. But it's been great to see their whole process, though, like start to finish. It's been pretty special.